Hello and welcome back to the channel. So if there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I really, really like fish to eat and Hello and welcome back to the channel. So if there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I really, really like fish to eat and to keep as pets. Now, when it comes to fish, after you do any amount of research, you will soon come to realize that they actually need quite extensive care. But that is one thing that many people do not realize. So I figured I'd come in clutch for my fish friends here and uh, tell my incredibly small audience to take care of your fish well, because God damn it, they need it. When it comes to fish, they are probably one of, if not the most abused animal in the whole pet industry. Mainly due to inadequate care and, you know, water parameters not being looked after, allowing ammonia, the chemicals from fish poop, to build up in the tank due to not changing the water or taking it out, and, you know, it just kills the fish. That is just one of countless ways that fish are abused. For instance, keeping fish in incredibly small fish tanks, like, uh, here, or here, or maybe even this one yeah yeah it's insane so when it comes to fish they really just haven't had the best run of it from like carnivals and all that stuff you know you pick up that one fish and you put it in a uh, you put it in like a, um, a fish bowl or something where it has like no room and then you wonder why it's dying the next day it's because you didn't prepare the water you didn't do the water cycling I, I may as well just add a video about water cycling and what it is in the description sure i'll go ahead and do that but there are so many different factors, even before taking care of fish, like setting up the tank, that will greatly determine the longevity of this fish. And for a lot of people, the fish dies, and they go, oh, why did it die? And then you look at the tank it was in, and it was just like a, like a, a bowl where it could barely even move in. I've seen people, I've literally been to people's houses and seen that they have a fighting fish or a better fish, inside of a plastic bottle which is horrendous they've got no space to move it's the equivalent of putting a puppy in a cardboard box that it can barely move in and having that as its permanent home it's just horrific and on top of that imagine the puppy being in the box but you never let it out even after it shits and pisses in the box wow that sounds like a perfect environment that's effectively what happens to fish if you put them in such a small space you know, when, when, when they poo, it gets in the water, obviously, because they live in it, and then it leaches toxic chemicals into the water, which is uh, more than horrific, and it leads to obviously early death, but only after, of course, they probably get some kind of disease or something, or, you know, something of the like. Anyway, fish are horrifically abused in the industry, and I think it is horrible that well obviously i think it's horrible that they're not being treated well but me being a man of hydration i really just it saddens me to see people not actually care about the animals that they keep um uh, of course i'm talking about fish here but this applies to any of them buying pets and then not caring for them or not doing any research on how to take care of it so they buy it and then they figure out how to try and take care of it no it does not work that way anyway I've let this video drag on for a little bit, but it's something, it's a topic I'm very passionate about and expect a few more videos in the future from this. Whether it be raiding shitty fish tanks or whether it just be like, I don't know. Well, we'll see what it will come to it. Maybe we'll even start a new series. God knows it's been a long time since I last did that. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful rest of your week. If you have fish, please goddamn take care of them well, please. Goodbye.